Hi, I'm Kyle Randolph. I'm a technical specialist here at JumpCloud in Boulder. Welcome to our onboarding video series. JumpCloud's LDAP as a service really allows for users to authenticate into applications and hardware using our open LDAP based feature. Now, to really go through this, I'd like to first discuss our two core components to our LDAP. The first of which is our bind DN, which is an object, or in JumpCloud's case, a service account, that allows for applications to read our LDAP directory. And second, we have our search base. And this is the distinguished name of the search base object, or more specifically, the search base defines the location in the directory from which the LDAP search begins. Now, really what I'd like to show you today is this whole process in action. And to do so, I have a couple things set up here. First, I have the JumpCloud admin console. Second, I have Jira set up on my machine. Now, what I want to go through today is creating an LDAP binding user service account and really going through this configuration live against Jira so you can see our LDAP in action. So let's begin. To start, I'll navigate to users in the JumpCloud admin console, and we're going to create a new user. In this case, it's going to be our LDAP search account. And we do want to specify that this user is going to be able to bind to our JumpCloud LDAP service. I'm going to specify a password for this user. And lastly, in directories, I'm going to choose to add this user to JumpCloud's LDAP. With that information specified, I'll verify and save user. And now that I have my LDAP search account created, we can use this to add other applications to search against JumpCloud's LDAP server. So let's proceed, segue over to our Jira instance and get LDAP configured for this application. So first, I'll navigate to Jira, to which I'm already authenticated in as an administrator. So I will proceed to user management. Verify my identity. And now I'm greeted with the users list. As I look here, I see that I have one user currently on this machine. But what I really want to do is I want to populate some more users against our LDAP. So I'll navigate to user directories and let's add a new directory. I'll specify LDAP and next. In this case I can specify what the name is going to be for this server and I'm going to title it jump cloud directory. Now you can specify any other text string that you'd like for your own reference. Now I'll proceed to specify that this is a open LDAP based directory. The host name for JumpCloud is going to be ldap.jumpcloud.com and we're going to be communicating over port 636 using SSL. Now for the LDAP binding user I need to pull some information from that new user account that I created. So let's navigate back over to the JumpCloud admin console and grab that now. If I pop open the aside for LDAP search user, I can see that I have a LDAP distinguished name. And this is going to be the information I will leverage to enter in for my username field. All right, looks good. And now we will proceed down to password and I will specify my LDAP binding users password. Now the base DN component will look fairly similar to our username field with one omission, and that's going to be the UID or username for that account. Now there's no need to specify the additional user DN. 
or group DN. So we'll proceed down to the LDAP permissions section. In this case, it's going to be read only with local groups and the default group membership for this account is going to be Jira users. All right, looks good so far. So we'll proceed to advanced settings. We do wanna ensure that this is being done over SSL. So I'll leave this checked as well as naive DN matching. The rest of this looks good. So we'll proceed to the specification for the user schema. Now the user schema is going to be set as init org person with the user object filter of object class equals init org person. User name attribute in this case is going to be the user name or UID. Given name looks good. SN, all right. Display name we'll leave as is. Same with mail, user password, and actually everything else in this particular section looks good. So let's go ahead and continue to the group schema. Now groups, we actually have a couple things we need to change here. We're going to omit the unique component here. So it'll be group of names and looks good. Now we'll specify for group description attribute is CN and pair with our group name attribute. And lastly, as a means of specifying how the users are represented in these groups, we're going to make a couple changes to the group members attribute. In this case, it's going to be member and member of. And it looks like that is everything we need to specify here. So let's save and test. All right, so we're able to test our basic, basic connection, but let's proceed and add in a user from the jump cloud directory to really test through the rest of this configuration. Now, I would like to note, in this case, I am mostly going to be testing against a particular group of users. In this case, we are configuring for Jira, which is a dev tool. So we'll look at our dev team group of users, to which I have about 11 users selected. And in this case, I'll be configuring and testing against my user, Jack Cadillac. And as one last note, just like with that LDAP binding user, I've specified that this group of users will also be presented in our Jump Cloud LDAP. And now with that information in hand, let's go ahead and proceed over and take a look at that population and see if we've got those users beginning to populate into Jump Cloud. So as I select users, I can now see that we have a number of users that are configured or set up. Further to that, as I look at groups, I can see that we have a number of groups represented. So we'll go ahead and synchronize this connection. And now we can see the rest of the information is completed populating, including that our dev team now has 11 users added in. Now let's go ahead and get that user Jack Cadillac and the rest of the dev team access to this application. So I'll select applications, application access, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull in our dev team. Cool. And we'll hop back over to user management and groups. And now we can see adjacent to dev team that Jira software or access to this application has been enabled. To verify this, I'm going to proceed to a new private browsing window and enter in my user Jack's credentials to sign in. To which I can now see that my user Jack has been set up as a new account on this machine through our LDAP. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, please navigate to our knowledge base at support.jumpcloud.com or if you'd like to speak to a member of our team about our platform, 
please email us at customer success at jumpcloud.com. Otherwise, subscribe below to stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you.